Hello, we're at the Academy of Management annual event and we're speaking with some of our authors about what they see as two of the most pressing issues facing managers today. Given this year's conference theme, which is putting the worker front and center, we're asking them about what they see as the top talent issues for 2024. And with AI playing an increasingly important role in all aspects of work, we're also asking them what they see as a manager's role in advocating for workers in the age of AI. Let's hear what they have to say. Looking ahead, the world is going to continue to be the turbulent, exponentially changing place it is now, but going even faster and faster and faster. So what talents need to be developed in that world? You need to engage in vicarious learning, learning from others. What's going on out there? What can I learn from experts and people who have different points of view from me? Who would be a good person to learn from, to partner with, to engage in some kind of collaborative effort with? Then as you're learning and taking in all this new information, pulling it together. How do I map it? What are the trends? What are the things I need to remember and know from this external foray into this turbulent world? And finally then, you need to experiment. The top talent issue, uh, according to me, is to bring back passion into work. We have heard about the great resignation, disengagement at work. Uh, workers want to find purpose and engagement. They want to be remotivated. So the key issue for talent management today is to bring back you know, this passion element, this purpose element uh, for workers to understand why do they work, what are they doing in their organization, what is the meaning of what they are doing and what is the meaning of their organization and how they fit into their organization and into society. The common understanding is that AI is just a tool to use, it's very instrumental and we can uh, easily use it at our pleasure, but I think it's not. AI really changes how we work, it changes how we relate to each other and how we can talk to each other. And therefore a manager's role should be to really safeguard that workers can actually do their work. So they should have checks and balances in place to make sure that the AI is being used to what it's supposed to do and not in any other way. I believe that in the future leaders need to make sure that they are able and uh, willing to cope with AI. And that sounds weird because AI is supposed to be this tool that we can use uh, at will. However, leaders uh, really need to learn how to use it, how to implement it, and also how and when not to implement it. I think the manager's role in uh, advocating for workers is to really think about how to motivate workers in the future. A lot of the commands will come from AI, I predict. Uh, so I think that shifts the focus for managers to really think about how they can then motivate people, make them enthusiastic, uh, bring this human component in there. There is a lot of evidence that workers want more from their employers, more perks, more flexibility. So the first thing for managers is to be able to identify and meet those expectations. The second thing I would say is uh, to revisit job design on a regular basis. There are really fa a fast pace of change in terms of markets, in terms of technologies, and that necessarily affects how we approach positions and job design, so it needs to be revisited on a regular basis. I think it's going to be very important for managers as AI develops to be thinking specifically about how to make sure that, that we're still learning and that their organizations are still learning. And the reason for that is that many of these AI models are black box models. And the problem is that that means that organizations don't get to see the improvement that's going on in that area. And so one of the things that they can actually choose to do is to say, make sure that there's a learning process that goes in so that whatever the AI has figured out for to make their process better, they are themselves learning about it so that they can continue to build in the future. I think one of the biggest issues that leaders are going to face in the next year is disintermediation within their, uh, their processes of their organization. And, and what do I mean by that? It's we're in an era where all of a sudden we have AI systems that can do a whole bunch of things that humans used to be uh, the only ones who could do, right? So they're good at vision and they're good at language and other things like that. That means there are going to be a whole bunch of places within the process that, of what we're building where it's going to make sense to slot in an AI. But most of those AIs are going to be 
produced by somebody else, they're gonna be trained on data that somebody else has, and that's gonna be a real management challenge because all of a sudden you're gonna have your process with a whole bunch of people jumping into the middle of it and managing it and figuring out how to make that all work harmoniously. I think that's gonna be a big challenge. <laughs>